A cylindrical water storage tank open at the top with a cross-sectional area of 10 feet discharges freely into a basin below it out of a 6-inch orifice as shown. The flow rate at the initial time of release is 5.5 cubic feet per second. By the time the tank is closed, its flow rate is 2.75 cubic feet per second. What is the volume of water lost in cubic feet from the tank during this time? Assume a discharge coefficient of 0.8 for the orifice. So since this problem mentions a discharge coefficient, this should make us think of some form of the orifice equation. There is a section in the reference manual that deals directly with orifices discharging freely into the atmosphere, so let's start there. We can see that the following equation is provided in the manual. Q equals CD A of the cross-sectional area of the flow leaving the orifice times 2GH square root. If we solve this equation for the height of the water at the initial flow rate and the height of the water at the final flow rate, we will have the total height that the water in the tank dropped by. Then, since we also know the tank diameter, we can calculate the total volume of water that was lost. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is solve for the height of the tank at the initial discharge. So 5.5 cubic feet per second equals CD equals 0 0.8. The area of the orifice we should solve for, so equals pi d squared over 4 equals pi times 0 0.5 feet squared over 4 equals 0 0.196 feet squared. And while we're at it, we can just solve for the area of the tank. So that's going to be the same thing. Pi times 10 feet squared over 4 equals 78.5 feet squared. Okay, so back to this part of the problem. Let's solve for, so A of the orifice is, well, let's move this down just to give us a little bit more room because I like to be organized. Okay, A is going to be 0 0.196 feet squared times the square root of 2 times 32.2 .2 feet per second squared times h is what we're solving for. Notice that h will be in feet, so the sum total of these units would be feet squared over second squared. The square root will take us back to feet per second. Units will help to simplify and cancel as we go through this. Anyway, rearranging for h here. Let's call this h1. h1 is going to be equal to about 19.1 feet. Now if we solve for the height at the time of the final flow, or at the final flow, right, there's no time component here, we can, we can do this again and get the height, the second height. So 2.75 cubic feet per second equals 0 0.8 times 0 0.196 feet squared times, again, same thing up top here, square root of 2 times 32.2 .2 feet per second squared times h2. And rearranging Solving for h here is going to give us, let's see, 4.77 feet. So our third step here would simply be finding the difference of those two heights. 
So H1 minus H2 equals 19.1 feet minus 4.77 feet. And that's going to give us 14.33 feet. So that would be the depth over which the water in the tank dropped over the period of time that the water was flowing. And since we have the area of the tank, we can multiply this volume of water equals 14.33 feet times 78.5 feet squared. And that should give us 1124 feet cubed which is the closest answer here is 1120 and that is all it takes to solve this problem so there's nothing too tricky here we just have to recognize that we can solve for volume with the equation for the orifice discharge and the addition of our given information about the dimensions of the tank and that's it